Hi and welcome back to Scala Collections. We have seen in our previous video about how we can recurse through the list to evaluate each and every element. Today we will explore how can we pass higher order functions and transform each element of the list. Let us jump straight onto the Scala shell to explore the list evaluation. Let me quickly declare a method uppercase that would accept a list of string and would return the transformed list. The method will recurse through the list and convert each element of the list to uppercase. I'll declare a new list of months. Let me pass the list to our method uppercase. And as expected, all the strings are now uppercase. But Scala has an easier way to transform the list and that is to use map. Similar to our previous uppercase method, map will accept a higher order function and that is to uppercase and will convert each and every string to uppercase. Let us see how map can be used. Again, I will use the same list and use dot map function and then I will provide expression to convert each string to uppercase. As expected, the result is the same. Another advantage of using map function is that we can chain map functions for continuous transformations. So let us now create short abbreviations for all the months. This time I will write the same expression along with substring map function. and we can get a list of short months. Thus, we are able to escape the tedious recursion with an easy map expression. Now, let us move on and have a look at another example. I will declare a class phone that would store name of company and list of models that they have released recently. I will add I will declare three instances of phone. First one is Apple and of course I will add two most popular iPhones that is iPhone 10 and iPhone 8. Next one is Google. I will add both phones from Pixel family. Phones with really great camera and some brilliant AI. And then I will add Samsung phones with bright and wide screens. And finally, I will create a phone list with all the phones that we have just created. Now, let us try to fetch all the models that we have added and as expected, I will use map function. Oops. But that is not what we want. A list of lists. We are interested in list of model. To enable us to achieve the same result, Scala list have another useful function and that is flat map. Let us use flat map instead of map and observe the result. And indeed, that is what we want. So flat map has flattened list of list into one list. Flat map is quite handy to flatten two containers into one. Flat map is not only not only applies to list but also to other collection. Let us have a look at another example. I will try and find out all the multiples of three, but in quite in a different way. I will declare 
a new function is factor of 3 that would accept an integer we will divide this incoming integer with 3 and if the number is a whole number then we'll return some number but if the result of division is is not a whole number then we'll return none I will try and fetch all the multiples of 3 for first 10 integers and let us first try to use map again we do not expect a list of optional values let us try the same with flat map and as we can observe that this time we are able to flatten the list of optional values so that was all about map and flat map in Scala one thing to keep in mind is that map and flat map are not only available for list but these two functions are available for any traversable collections in Scala so you can utilize them with almost any container I think map and flat map are the most widely used functions to transform the collections and indeed these two functions make life of developer a lot more easier we'll discuss about more such useful methods of Scala in upcoming videos I hope you are enjoying Scala with some daily practice see you next time thanks for watching please post your comments and suggestions